When starting a new project with Django, always, always set up a custom user model as it future-proofs your project and potentially saves you from huge headaches later. Even in the Django docs, it says, if you're starting a new project, it's highly recommended to set up a custom user model, even if the default user model is sufficient for you. Creating a custom user model that works identically to the default user model with the added benefit of being customizable is super quick and easy. As soon as you create your Django project, it is recommended to also create an app for handling users and authentication and stuff like that. So you might want to create a new app and call it users, for example. As soon as you have your users app, just go to models.py and you just want to import abstract user. So from django.contrib.o.models import abstract user. And then all you got to do is just define custom user model, call it whatever you want in subclass abstract user, and then you just type pass. And then you're going to want to configure your user's app anyways. So you'll go to settings.py, scroll down to installed apps and add your newly created user's app. And then while you're here, scroll all the way down and tell Django about your newly created user model. Oath underscore user underscore model. And then you want to set it to your newly created user model. So you'll type your app's name first and then a period and then the name of your user model. That's it. After that, you can go about creating your app, do whatever you want. And if in the future, months from now, even years from now, you decide you want to customize the default user model, you can do this so easily. However, if you didn't define a custom user model, you don't even want to know the headache that awaits you. Or maybe you do. The docs actually talk about what you need to do in case you want to extend the default user. And it involves either creating a proxy model or setting up another model and creating a one-to-one -one relationship with it. Either way, it can be a refactoring nightmare that you really don't want to get into. And I'm speaking from experience. Anyways, if you found this video helpful, give it a like. And if you haven't subscribed, please don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. Bye.